So I got this SSD from, from a friend of mine. Uh, he couldn't figure out how to get it to work. And he said it doesn't work. He doesn't have PC3000 uh, SSD. So since we have it, I asked him to send it to me. So I didn't think it's gonna be recoverable. This particular Intel SSD is not supported by PC3000, but it sounded like it was a hardware issue. Uh, so let me show you what happens when you put it to PC3000. I'm gonna plug it in here off camera. It's plugged in, so let's go over to the screen capture and I'm gonna show you what's happening with this SSD. Okay, so we have it here in PC3000, um, plugged it in, give it power. The problem is because it's an NVMe, it doesn't really tell us anything, but uh, at least one of these registers should be uh, turning green, but they're not. So when we uh, try to go forward PC3000, you see it doesn't detect it. Uh, so the SSD is clearly not, not, not working. Uh, as I said, no support for these Intel SSDs whatsoever in PC3000. The reason for it being is uh, they might not have uh, uh, the ability yet to uh, develop anything from Intel. I mean, maybe they will in the future. I mean, Acel has been pretty good with developing uh, loaders for different SSDs. We get power here. When you try to go forward here, uh, it doesn't detect it. It gets stuck here. You can see you got red light here. Uh, so we can hit cancel. We can still run the utility if you want, but we're not going to get anything detected. See, NVMe did not detect it. So, uh, before I power it down, let me just touch it here. It gets pretty hot. Uh, I want to show you on the microscope where it gets hot. But it gets hot next to the end. Um, so I'm guessing there could be a short there. But uh, let's take it over there and have a look. Okay, so I got the uh, SSD here. Uh, just by visually inspecting, I don't really see anything that uh, pops out at me. Uh, just looking at the SSD, it looks pretty normal. So. So yeah, so we know the heat's coming from these components right here. So what do we have here? We got a some sort of coil and two capacitors. The one there is kind of suspicious, but you know, I can't really tell. So let's just flip, over, flip on the uh, good old multimeter in continuity mode. And you now keep in mind, if you're doing this on your own SSDs, if there's some kind of failure, uh, any capacitor close to the controller might act as a shorter capacitor so you might have to look at the readings because uh, if you use continuity it will beep so uh, uh, on phones you have the same thing with capacitors around the uh, uh, cpu it, it might look suspicious so uh, let's check this coil here it should beep it does beep and let's check these caps around here so this one beeps and this one beeps so uh, we have the same kind of setup on this side. We have a coil that should beep, and then these two caps. And these don't beep. So if we look at uh, the ones here versus the ones here, the behavior is different. So that tells us that most likely uh, these ones here have an issue. Uh, so we should probably hit it with a bit of heat uh, I'm going to remove them both. I mean, the, the problem is there's only two on that line, so the drive might have uh, uh, reading problems because uh, it's not like it won't be clearing the line. We don't know what, what's the reason for them to be there. It could be to clean up the line a little bit. Uh, but let's, uh, let's take them off uh, with a bit of heat. Uh, ideally, you shouldn't be using heat here because uh, the problem is uh, you get NAND right next to it. So with the NAND being so close, uh, when you start hitting it with heat, you might cause an issue with the NAND. So the best thing would be to uh, to use some sort of a heat sink uh, to protect this particular NAND on this side. There's nothing on the other side. And I had a heat sink, but now I can't find it. Uh, or a coin, which I also don't have. Okay, well, we'll use we'll use these, this thing here to kind of protect the NAND. It's a big chunk of metal. I mean, we probably don't have to do this, but you know what? It's better safe to safe than be sorry later. So we got the heat here. Let's hit it with some heat and take them off and see what happens. I'm gonna try to position the camera my my hands the best I can so we can see what I'm doing. So I'm just gonna heat it up here. I'm using 390, so I'm trying to be as fast as I can. I don't wanna cause problem with the SSD. Okay, one's gone. 
The other one uh, the other one's gone too. Okay, we got them off. Let's just, let this thing cool down a little bit. So now let's get our uh, probes here. Let's see if the short is still there. And no short. So the short's been cleared, the coil's still good. Hopefully we didn't cause any problems with the uh, NAND. Now let's see which one of these capacitors is actually shorted out. So I have them right here. Let's try this guy. So this one you heard beeps. Let's look at the other one. This one does not. So one of them is bad, one of them is good. Yeah, this one definitely beeps. So we got a short. So a very rare failure. I mean, I, out of so little amount of capacitors, we have one that failed. It's, it's almost hard to believe. Uh, you know, you would think that when you have a, a device with tons of caps, the one has to go bad, but then you have like on this SSD, there's two here, two here, and then maybe a few more on this side by the controller and pretty much that's it. Uh, okay, there's one more on the other end here, but I mean, really, uh, there's uh, there's no more caps on here. So, uh, pretty strange. Let's uh, get some alcohol here. Let's clean this up from the flux. We don't have to, but let's do it anyways. Okay, so let's let's take it over to P3000 and see if we fix the problem. Okay, so we're back with the SSD. Uh, let's put it into P3000 and see if it works. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. And if it doesn't, then uh, back to the drawing board, I guess. So let's hit power and let's watch the bottom registers there. Okay, I don't know why ACT is red, but uh, let's see. Uh, you see how quickly it uh, went into the menu. And there we go, we get detected 512 gig Intel SSD. Um, let's jump over to um, data extractor. I'm gonna start imaging it. I'm gonna see if we get file structure. Uh, we can build a map and then we can recover it from there. Okay, so we're gonna choose the uh, NVMe here. And we're gonna go next, make data copy. Uh, we we'll just go to file image for now. A uh, friend of mine showed me to, uh, to use virtual disk. Virtual disk seems to be better because then you only, when you build a map, you only get an uh, image that's the size of a data. You don't actually create an entire image of the SSD, but uh, we'll just go with the file image for now. I just wanna see if it images. If it does, I'm probably going to build my map off camera and start recovery on this. So let's see if we get a file structure. Okay, and we do. So what we see here on the screen is we have bed lockers. So I will need the key from the client. Uh, so that's pretty much uh, good recovery. Let me just go back here a little bit. Let me see how fast it's going to image because that's also important. Maybe there's a problem with the NANDs. Who knows, right? Let's just ex execute here and see the speeds. Uh, speeds are pretty good. Okay, 50 megs a second, not too bad. Maybe that's limited by my uh, target drive. That's uh, okay. It's okay. It's picking up the speed, so we should theoretically see 100 megs per second here. If so that's probably the limitation of my target drive, which is a 10 terabyte drive there. Uh, but it's going anyway. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe for more content. I, I, I'm working on a forensic video for the future. It's just, these forensic videos take a lot more work than these videos. Like this video here, it was very quick. I mean, it's really, uh, probably takes me just as long as to, just as long to edit, to shoot as to edit. I, I can probably get the videos like this uh, fired off in like an hour, uh, you know. Uh, but these forensic videos, I have to write a script. I have to prepare myself. I gotta figure out what I gotta do. and. It's not such, no, so simple. So I, I, I really like making forensic uh, videos because I, I, I really enjoy forensic work, but because of the time involved in those, uh, those will be more, uh, not as frequent as, as these recovery videos. So that's going to be it for today. And I'll see you in two weeks, hopefully.